Join me today as we look back at a few favorites from 2023. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. This is the current state of affairs ever here. It is one big mess and Christmas takedown has started and it's gonna take a while. So I've just started to group things by item slowly and then I'll bring the bins up and pack it all away. And this is when I have to give myself grace and instead of getting overwhelmed, just go slow and steady. So because I don't have any new material to share today, I thought I would just share a couple of the rooms that I did over 2023 and that will lead us into 2024 and I will be back hopefully next week where we'll do a little bit of winter decorating. First look back is to our most viewed project, the countertops. Once upon a time, they looked like this. And then I painted them using epoxy so that they would resemble Calicata marble. Unfortunately, they yellowed over time. And rather than go with epoxy again, I decided to use polycrylic. Just for fun, here are music-only excerpts from the two-part tutorial that I shared earlier this year. If you'd like to take a look at the full tutorial, which includes my verbal instructions, tips and tricks, and all the products I used, I've linked those down below. I'm happy to say that the counters have held up beautifully. The second project we're revisiting is the board and batten I added in the foyer. I took you on a field trip to Lowe's. We picked out the wood of choice for the project and headed back home to complete it. And again, for fun, here are music-only excerpts from that tutorial. If you'd like to take a look at the full tutorial, which include my verbal instructions, tips and tricks, and all the products I used, I've linked it down below for you.
Here's one last look at the before and then the after. Far from perfect, but definitely better. Okay, the last project we're looking back on wasn't very exciting. It was more of a necessary one. I took you outside on a beautiful day in Virginia and gave our deck some much needed attention. I got out the pressure washer and paintbrush, cleaned off our DIY privacy panel along with the furniture, and then had some fun adding summer touches. And finally, I thought it would be fun to look back and see how our home changed seasonally throughout 2023. so much for joining me today as I took a look back. I hope you'll join me in 2024 and I'd love it if you consider subscribing to my channel. Have a great week and I'll see you next time.